Hey guys, welcome back for another episode of Pilot Vlogbook. My name's Jason, and in this video, I just want to share with you an experience and a situation that I'm currently dealing with. It involves the plane I'm flying and the maintenance that it, it's undergoing here shortly. So it's coming up on its 800 hour time before overhaul for the prop, and it's about 20 hours away from that overhaul. And to kind of add to the complexity here, they've already reserved a spot in the shop for it. So if the shop calls at any time, basically, and says they're ready to take the plane, um, it'll be out of service right at that time. And um, they're saying that it's going to take six weeks in the shop in, in, in order to complete the repair. I don't know if they're having to actually remove the prop and then they're going to send the prop away for refurbishment and you know to actually do the overhaul or if they're that backed up it's kind of confusing because they on one hand have a place reserved kind of in queue in the shop but then they're still reporting a six week time but it's adding um you know a hard decision for me because talking to my instructor, you know, we're approaching, you know, here within the next couple months or so, you know, getting ready for solo. And I'm really probably the one putting 95% of the hours on the plane right now. Uh, most of the other people in the school are doing the 172 and I'm doing the 152. Uh, but just as you know, luck would have it. When I was there, there was actually another student that was talking about uh, using that 152 uh, at least for a couple lessons. And then there's an additional student that is maybe considering switching to that plane. So now it's kind of like a gamble because between my hours and the other two students' hours, um, we could burn up those 20 hours and then the plane is down, not only for the shop's predicted amount of time, but the shop is also not ready to take it. So if we burn through those hours in a month, and then the shop is still a month away, and then it's a six week wait time, um, it really poses uh, this challenge. And talking to my instructor, what I don't wanna do is get close to being ready to solo and then the plane's down. Um, so I really have two options. I can either postpone my flying until the plane's you know, back from being serviced or I could switch to a 172. And I, I really have no interest in going to the 172 because even, even just basing the cost savings on the FAA 40 hour minimum, which is unrealistic, um, the cost difference is gonna be like between two and $3,000. Uh, as far as maybe towards the 70 hour mark, I mean, we, we really start talking about a lot of money extra spent really for no reason. Um, so now I'm just kind of in this situation, you know, there's no reason why I can't keep flying right up to solo. Uh, the, you know, I could keep furthering what I'm doing now and then it just creates a situation where I may need to retake lessons, so to speak, or, or at least be doing, uh, a few practice lessons once the plane you know, comes back from service, kind of like redoing some of the things that I learned. Um, and then, you know, maybe lost some of that, you know, muscle memory and different skills. Overall, even if I had to redo a few lessons like that, the cost to do that would still be cheaper than switching to the 172 for the long run. Um, with the idea being if I switch to the 172, then to just stop switching back and forth and then just continue with one plane uh, through the end of my private pilot license. Um, so if you guys have any input on that or have any situations similar to this that you're 
you know, dealing with or have dealt with, uh, put it down in the comments below. I'd like to hear your feedback and I appreciate you guys watching another video and I'll keep you updated and thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy. Thanks.